make sure our Twitch is connected. In my case, my Twitch already is connected, but we will pretend that it's not, okay? So we're going to delete this stuff out of here. In your case, yours is going to be empty. We're going to hit connect. It's going to pop up a window. As long as your Twitch is already logged into this browser, it's not going to ask you to log in. If you're not logged in to Twitch in this browser, then it's going to ask you to log into your Twitch. Go ahead and log in. Tell it okay. This window is going to pop up. And we're going to copy this code. Toss it over here. Then we're going to hit the request button. And it's going to bring up this window. And tell it connect. Copy that authentication code. Paste it in here. Save it. Done deal. <clears throat> now to make sure that we are connected and it actually did work so we're not bamboozled by anything we're gonna go in here we already have it set up but if this is your first time and you don't know how to do this go over to your left hand side here type in twitch and you'll find all your twitch actions um, we're gonna send a twitch message in this case it's like that we're gonna type one two three test one two three a quick way to test most buttons in Touch Portal is by hitting the Alt button and clicking it. So, all right. So, in order to test this button, we are gonna Alt and click it, and that's actually going to do a test as long as it works. And then we're gonna go into our OBS here, and we're gonna see that it, up in the top corner here, my test one two three chat message did come through so our twitch is successfully connected to our touch portal now no worries we're good to go on anything that comes with uh this this plugin and a lot of other plugins and the base features of touch portal